Get ready, Spokane. Bloom's Day is just days away. This year will be a first for one Bonners Ferry woman. Her decision to compete comes after 30 years of believing she wasn't cut out for running because that's what a teacher told her as a teenager. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley is sharing now how she is proving that teacher wrong. Bloom's Day is just days away and runners are squeezing in their last few workouts to prepare for this. Oh, I'm ready. I'm super excited. I'm nervous. Nikki Blockhan is determined to compete in her first Bloom's Day this year. She started training in January, and on this morning, we find Nikki training at her favorite spot. Just the views are absolutely gorgeous, and it's very quiet. She starts with a few minutes of walking. It helps me to ease into my run. Then she takes off running. If I do the whole route, it's a little over six miles. Um, and sometimes I do the whole route and sometimes I just do part of it. With any kind of training, you've got to start somewhere. For Nikki, that meant running about two minutes at a time, but now she can do 12. I actually got really teary eyed the first time that I was able to do the 12 minutes because this is just a huge um, feat for me. I, this is something I never thought I could be, I would be able to do. She never thought she could really run because at the age of 13, a teacher told her so. The teacher pulled me aside and said, this is not for you, you should just stick to what you're good at and not do track. From that moment, I just told myself that I am a terrible runner and I could never run. That stuck with her for 30 years. That is until recently, when she and her family faced unexpected trials and illness. It all pushed Nikki to reflect and rewrite her past beliefs, starting with running. I'm like, let's just try and see if I can do this. Nikki documented her journey on Instagram. Just so I can look back and see where I started and where I am now. While tracking her progress on a running app, Nikki shared her milestones, both the highs and the lows. There are days where it just seems to be really, really easy. And um, then there are other days where it feels like it's really stretching me. Registering for her first Bloom's Day pushed Nikki to stick with running. Months later, she's now not only prepared for the big race, she's also changed her mind about running. I actually have found that I absolutely love running. Like I genuinely get excited to get up in the morning and go running, which I never thought that I would say. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.